Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Minecraft. And today, I'm going to be exploring a little map that's a little bit different from anything I've done before. This is actually someone's creative world, which they've apparently been working on for quite some time, which they've emailed me and asked me to explore. <laughs> I just got a little bit startled by the man in the painting over there just nestled in that shadowy corner. They actually directly likened it to a Gary's Mod Explorer, saying that this isn't so much an adventure map as a space to investigate and take at my own pace. They also included some screenshots, and as you can see, there is some really impressive stuff going on here. So, Gold Knight Production, thank you for letting me take a look at this map. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get to it. And I can already see from this beginning room that you have indeed put quite a lot of detail into this. Oh, look at this. A window looking out onto a darkened night. And one cake, which I'm going to choose to interpret those red dots on top as sugary treats and maybe a cherry as opposed to as opposed to blood that may be dripping down from the ceiling. Although it does seem like the roof is a bit leaky. Uh, I love this. I really hope it has that like classic haunted mansion look because this room definitely does. And that screenshot of the exterior has me very excited. Now let's look around and see if we can't interact with some of this stuff. Uh, over here, do custom maps work? Uh, apparently they do. Uh, do custom particle effects work? Push to test. They are working? Oh, that is so cool. Check your resource packs for one named Circle. If it exists, make sure that it's enabled. Okay. Well, I did have a look beforehand to see if there were any data packs, and it does. We can adjust our own volume. S subtle <laughs> or loud let's go with subtle I got a good pair of headphones I just hope too much won't be lost to the EQ uh, about Splatterhouse has been very dear to my heart since I discovered it circa 2008 the atmosphere is incredible the music haunting and the twist in the first game. Oh yeah, they did say in the email that it's, it's inspired by one of their favorite games. Many set pieces are lovingly recreated within the halls of West Mansion. Many of them are original. I wonder if you'll know which is which. This map is more about exploration and atmosphere. There's no set goal or ending. Simply immerse yourself. Although you could search the mansion grounds for Dr. West. Not that you'd recognize him. Also, this map is best enjoyed with the soundtrack of Splatterhouse 1 and 2 in the background. Please consider listening to either OSTs at a low volume while playing, or using them in a video. Some tracks will really enhance the mood, and especially when paired with their corresponding rooms. For your consideration. Okay, I'm not going to do that just because I'm not really familiar with Splatterhouse. And I'm not sure if that would be a copyright issue. Usually with game soundtracks, it's not. But I'm going to err on the side of caution. Ooh, and we have lore. Nobody's seen the acclaimed parapsychologist Dr. West for years. He hasn't been pronounced dead. And many people have reported activities surrounding his mansion. Those same people have also dubbed his residence the Splatter House. Despite that... You've received a personal invitation to interview Dr. West. Lucky you. He's instructed you to follow the path from the dock to the front door. Dr. West claims he'll meet you inside. It would be rude to turn down such an honor. Oh, I love having that exposition before we go in. Oh, that's more than some horror maps give you. Okay, take one. The Splatter House, which I do seem to already have. And it points us in its direction. All we need to do is push the button to start. Whoa! Oh. Oh, I see. We're taking the boat across the, across the way to the creepy old mansion on the aisle. Oh, that is such a cool way to start this! 
Having accepted the invitation, we make our way to the creepy old structure that looms on the horizon. Surrounded by trees, but its spire poking up above them, just as the sun sets. Ah, this is already so cool. Well, let's pull up to here and get going. Oh, there's even objects left around the dock. Clutter even in Minecraft. West Mansion. Established 1836. And as we arrive, so too does the rain. Oh, uh, I am I am already so properly in the mood for this. Let's have a look in here. Oh. There's a bit of a rundown old shack. I could have sworn I just saw something move out there, but. And maybe it's just the rain coupled with the vines hanging down. A boat, some oars. Ah, uh, I guess this is the boathouse. Well, let's go accept our invitation. Strange. Still feels like I should ring the doorbell. Hmm. Disconnected. Okay, I can still open the door behind me. That's good to know. Oh, and look at this. That is so cool. Look! <laughs> the flashes of lightning illuminating the hallways of the dark old house. Catching the movement of the curtains billowing in the wind. I have always had such a soft spot for the setting of the dark old house that nobody lives in. And it seems this is going to be scratching that itch quite perfectly. Uh, Dr. West, where are you? Uh, Darwin, didn't expect to see you here. Maybe I should advance down the middle. I mean, after all, we are being rude by not going to see our host. Hello? Oh, it's a huge cavernous space. Although that fire does look quite in inviting. Did I just see something move over there? Maybe that's just the shadows doing something weird. Oh. And I was so busy looking at that, I didn't even notice the suit of armor wielding a trident. Triton? Trident? I don't know. Up on this pedestal. Kind of unnerving to see it faceless like this. But that fire is inviting. Oh, look. Uh, Dr. West even leaves a bunch of books strewn about. Maybe I should wait here for him to arrive? Let's be honest, I'm just waiting here to calm myself. Fire is warm, and the glow from the light gives me some small measure of comfort as the thunder echoes down these halls. And there's another one of his collection of skulls right above the mantle. Oh, this painting has always given me the heebie-jeebies ever since I was a kid. This lamp was just doing odd things. And there appears to be some spillage from the steak he was cutting up on the floor of the kitchen. Uh, the maids and other staff are really slacking around here. I don't think he's coming. Maybe we should have a look around and see if he's anywhere to be found. Is that an elevator? Uh, well, we can open this, but it's going to close behind me. I guess it's out of order. Uh, okay, let's get looking around. Maybe he's fallen and can't get up. The man must be quite ancient. <laughs> Look at that long hallway. Curtains moving on either side. 
And there's something quite strange about the taxidermy here. Eyes that still seem to be looking at you. December 1957, Henry West. This must be the rifle he shot it with. August 1896, Henry West. 50, 60 years apart. I knew he'd be ancient, but just how old is this guy? Does this look out onto a courtyard? I don't like looking out there. It's so dark. Some of his old hunting weapons? Even though there's still candles all over, I can't help but feel that it's getting darker the further I advance in this hallway. Oh, this is quite atmospheric indeed. But I'm starting to think it maybe just goes in a loop all around that central area. Okay, no, there's something quite different happening here. Oh, sweet holy Moses, your house is on fire. Oh, okay. It's just some of that decorative fire. Uh, this man really knows how to decorate. What did I just trigger? Oh, this whole hallway looks like it's been completely destroyed. And things are jumping up to meet me. Oh, what is all this? Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, and don't look back. Just don't look back. Here's where we were before. Okay. So, this Dr. West is something of a strange guy, but it doesn't seem to be an emergency. Okay, I've actually come back around to this because I am not at all satisfied with my commentary on this section. This is actually really interesting. Having a section of the house that's on fire, but seeming more like a piece of the house. Which I guess is true to Haunted Mansion fashion, isn't it? Uh... And I'm not quite sure what these are supposed to be, but they're very unnerving. It's like this hallway opens up into the underworld itself. Oh my, I've just realized this is the back of the fireplace. So, oh, that is so creepy. So while I was sitting there basking in the comfort of the fire's glow, I didn't realize I was actually staring back to another chamber where... Someone could have been staring back at me, and I wouldn't even realize. Okay, well... The, 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 <laughs> the next thing that I want to have a look at is what's going on with the shadows over here. Oh, bathroom. Complete with candles and moving shower curtains, this looks like someone may have performed the Bloody Mary ritual. Okay, well, even though there's no reflection... Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. I was just really hoping to get to meet Tony Todd. Ooh. Uh, this must be the room uh, where Dr. West does all his taxidermy work. Never mind the distinctly human skulls. They were probably just all members of local tribes, which... Uh, would have been acceptable during his day, I guess. Now, the more I learn about Dr. West, the less keen I am to take him up on this interview. Uh, but maybe I can get a good expose, at the very least? Huh. Quite a nice pool. Although it does seem to have been left unmaintained for quite some time. The lights are on. The electronics are functioning. But I'm starting to get the impression that this place does look like it's been abandoned for years. You guys happy? You guys happy that I said that? Which begs the question, who did send the invitation? This Dr. West would have to be crazy old. Ooh, there's a basement to this room. 
And a sub-basement to that basement. With more of that... I don't like the look of this soil. And you have a lot of taxidermied heads. And some kind of gas or smoke is being pumped into this room. What are you using it for? Okay, I was going to go upstairs next, but fate has taken me downwards. This is like a whole dungeon beneath your house. A dungeon where perhaps you keep some of your larger, more exotic finds while abroad. Oh, look, it's like whatever's in there is foaming at the mouth. Okay, this map is seriously impressing me. Not only with the custom work, but also just with the creativity of what you can do with existing Minecraft blocks. Look at how they just sit back in the shadows, almost as if they're averse to light itself. Almost makes me reluctant to step into some of these... what I now realize are open cages. Which is priming me to still be scared by that thunder. Does that mean that something could be walking these halls, even as we speak? This section is submerged. Maybe I would do well to go get myself a boat. I could swim it, but after some of the things we've seen back there, do I really want to? Oh my, what are you? Uh... You're, you're picking up that head and placing it down in front of me, wherever I go. Okay, so on top of everything, this place is haunted. It's like this head has like a rack of bodies to choose from. Dr. West has seen fit to give you your own chamber, if you're not Dr. West himself. You have a whole gallery to choose from. Okay, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. But what does happen if we wade through here? Well, there's a light over there, which makes it as good a spot as any. And it doesn't seem like we can... Oh, we can fit through here. But it goes ever further down. Just how deep is this? Alright, continue exploring this floor before we move on. Oh, there's so many branching paths to explore. Uh, it's gonna make it difficult to see everything. But I do really enjoy how it kind of allows you to choose your own path. To follow whatever catches your interest. Which is a trait I've always valued in the maps I explore. Climb these vines. Oh, here's the elevator. Or what was formerly the elevator. And with this, we can climb our way up. This is the shaft we were looking down before. Alright, uh, well, I, I guess we'll continue to go down. Uh, maybe that's not the intended experience, but it feels natural. Oh, look at this mossy cobblestone. It gives the impression that it's leading to some kind of crypt. Maybe even something that was here when the house was built. Oh, it's like a whole cave system. A cave system which Dr. West has incorporated into his own basement. Please, I just narrowly missed getting dropped back down into the waters below. What is this? Some kind of crawl space? Oh! Oh. It's just another one of your bodies, huh? 
so it wasn't anything I really needed to worry about. It was it was just one of the many multiple choice bodies of a demonic head carried around by a spirit. Okay, well maybe it was reason to panic. What if we take this downward? Will this lead to the same cave? Big face. And Big Face likes dramatic, ambient punctuations. Why does this feel like the kind of hallway I'm going to have to quickly run back down? And what is Big Face? That's Big Face! I get the impression I shouldn't be approaching. <laughs> Ow! Okay, that's one way to say get out. And I will heed that warning. Ah, uh, why do I get the impression that Big Face isn't the face, but the entire chamber? Alright, let's get out of here and continue exploring the rest of this area. This is such the classic Haunted Mansion experience, though, isn't it? Running around, just seeing what catches my interest, and piece by piece, running into the horrors within. Which each claim their own little section. This looks like the end of that area. This, I believe, is where we came down. Okay, I'm just trying to make sense of all this in my head. There's still a lot of ground to cover. Oh, some kind of chapel? I'm starting to think there's perhaps something more to Dr. West's hunts. Yeah, I don't speak Spanish. So I'm not going to be able to read that. There's a door off to the side here, though. Oh, this place is so winding and confusing. But I do recognize this area. Or at least I recognize the glance I had at this area. It looks to be some kind of boiler room. Nope! Skeleton skull! There's, there's bones! There's bones in the boiler! There's bones in the boiler, which makes this a crematory. Ah, oh, man. There's already so many corpses lying about. I don't know why you even bother with the whole trying to dispose of them thing. Hmm. This area looks quite hidden. But there are pressure plates. What is this? These look like tubes that may at one point have held specimens, but a few of them are quite conspicuously broken. What is that? What is that leaking from the ceiling? That doesn't look like something you want leaking from the ceiling. Uh, whatever it is, it's coming from these pipes up above. Oh, what kind of mad science took place here? And it's at this point that I have to once again consider all of this is culminating in a letter addressed to me, inviting me to come here for an interview. So what is it that they want to know? Is this about wanting information to get out? Or is this about needing another test subject? We found a secret room. We found a secret room. Probably should have checked if there was a way out of here first, but oh, this leads back to the main hub. Yes? A oh, long, dark hallway. Flanked by horrifying portraits. My favorite. Ah. I see Dr. West is a fan of cinema. Got a private screening room? 
This seems like a great place to watch one of my favorites, Stalker. Or perhaps Spider-Man 2. Hmm. Well, Dr. West, being the kind of guy he is, I can only wonder what kind of things have been screened on this projector. Huh. Well, in the dark... In the dark, nothing good can happen, so let's turn that back on while we make our way out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. I think we've exhausted all this area. Uh, with another open cage. And the time has come to continue on in this direction. Yeah, it really does give the impression that this was a cave that was just discovered when the house was built. Was this meant for a creature that exists on hot magma? Or was it meant to punish something? To torture them with their very own enclosure? I am not going to be able to jump up there, especially not now. Whoops, I broke it. But I do now have a portable ladder, I suppose. Oh, but there is some exposure to the surface, look. It looks like this area may be underwater, but that is a drain leading to something. Although perhaps the bottom of Dr. West's pool. When we walk down this hallway, that is so creepy. You walk past this door, and then it opens up to a long, dark hallway as if to invite you in. That is such a nice touch. But I think I've seen just about everything there is to see down here. Well, with the exception of this area that's been blocked off. Which, why? But I think it's time for me to start moving back upstairs. I'm very much glad to be out of that basement of horrors. Horrors which still remain even after this place has been left abandoned. Or so I think. Actually, we never did check out this door on the left here, did we? Oh. Ah, oh, this is so cool. This is what those windows in the hall were looking out onto. Look at these hanging vines amidst the rain. It's an enclosed courtyard that almost feels like... Well, it almost feels like it's a room all its own with how much of the sky is blocked out. But we can look inside the windows and somehow this is even creepier from this angle. Makes me feel like we're going to see a figure staring back at us from inside the place we just were. We could actually probably climb these vines to get up there. Oh, we can. And it gives us a sneak preview at what we'll find on the upper floors. The railings are broken here, but we'd have to do some acrobatics to get over there. Ow. Now, let's not do any cheating for now. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. Although, I suppose it's not really cheating. The cool thing about the architecture of this map is that it's been designed in such a way where it gives you multiple avenues to experience things, and it kind of accounts for those avenues. It's winding and confusing enough that you actually feel the eccentricity of its creator. And yet, there's enough care put into it that no way feels like you took the wrong way, you know? Well, here we go. Ascending the candlelit staircase in the dark old house. Well, now it's a question of where to start. This balcony sort of acts as a hub, which ends in this, uh, in this elevator shaft. I guess we start with what's closest to us. Uh, I absolutely love those faint flashes every time there's lightning. 
Uh, this seems to be some kind of maintenance room for the elevator shaft. These chains hoisting it and its counterweights. Oh, this is the this is the walkway above the above the garden. Oh, I see. The sky actually is covered. Great to let in rainwater. And from here we can see that spire. Something I stepped on just made a noise, but from here we can look out and uh, it seems from here we can't even see the village we left from. Oh wait, there is actually something over there. Lights from a village in the distance and something poking through the trees down below. Maybe that's part of the cave system we were in. Walking through here, I absolutely love the atmospherics. The thunder constantly crashing overhead, the dull blue lighting in this interior-exterior walkway. And the promise of civilization nearby. Maybe that's... well, maybe that's a little town where the staff of the mansion lived? Let's see if we can't climb up here and see something. Oh, look. We can even see where some of the grates have fallen through. Whoa! Uh, we don't want to hurt ourselves too much doing this. But I also don't want to break any blocks because that's probably not intended. Yeah, from here we can get up onto the roof. Maybe we can see a little more. Oops. Uh, but I'm constantly in danger of falling through. Yeah. It's just at the edge of my draw distance, but there is more over there. I'm going to get back inside just in case this isn't intended. But there's definitely more to see than just the house. Now they did tell me that there is more to this map being worked on. That there's more to this than just the mansion. But that this is the most complete for now. I was advised to download this map on the day that I play it. And so that's what I've done. Because it's a constantly evolving project. Ooh. These notes can almost be interpreted as strange music or tones emanating from it. Like a crystal ball floating on a pedestal. Yeah, look at these candles and these portraits adorning the walls, this chandelier. This looks like it would be a room where seances are conducted. A seancery, as they're called. Oh, there had to be mannequins. I am so uncomfortable trying to maneuver between these. Look, some of them hold tools. Shears. This one facing the wall as if it's done something wrong and is being punished by the others. Can we place this? It doesn't seem so. Are you guys? Wait. I can't be 100% sure. I thought I heard something, and now I'm not sure if you're all in your original positions. Okay, well, moving on. Actually, I should probably leave doors I've explored open. That'll make it easier. Since we don't have any light sticks we can drop. Well, there's a door right here beside the mannequin room. Kitty? Kitty, kitty! What did it say, Milky? Kitty! Where did you go? Oh, there's a ghost cat on Prem, huh? And I am weirdly okay with that. Oh, that's great! There's a literal cat jump scare! It really is like a horror movie! Ah, and this seems to be the master's private study. Although the windows are strangely boarded, actually broken and boarded. Like something crashed out or maybe that someone jumped through or was pulled through. 
Where does this door over here lead? Okay. You know, I've often heard it said that when you get engrossed in literature, it can take on a life of its own. But this is a whole new thing altogether. What is that? Uh, the way that moved, I thought it was like a head slowly turning to face me. It looks like maybe a globe? Uh, is this meant to be a hall of mirrors? Uh, I wish Java could be upgraded to support RTX. And there's yet another of those suits of armor. The ones with the... the ones with the black mannequin head... always make it seem just a little bit more human... and a little bit more occupied than the ones with the wooden skull beneath. A bedroom? Actually, quite a cozy bedroom at that. Huh. But you know, even as a kid, I've always been creeped out by the idea of these fancy old beds. These ones with the drapes that go all around them? I mean, look, I used to be scared of the dark enough as a kid, but I'd never be able to deal with the sounds all around me, as I can't see my own room. These are the kind of things I'd be creeped out by the very idea of. Now that is a carpet I can just knead my toes in. Look, I love how they've gone to the effort of capturing just how floofy this thing is. I gotta tell you, take the drapes down, or even just leave them at that height. And this is exactly the kind of room I like. A suit of armor stashed inside. Is this Mr. West's personal quarters? Because this is a space fit for a king. Look, comfy, cozy, all the amenities you need, but not too big. Remember to leave that open. Hello. Hi. I don't like the way you were looking directly at me as I entered. And as you continue to look directly at me, I was not expecting that movement. And you! There's a dagger lodged in there. You're tossing stuff at me. You do not want me here. Much like Big Face, I think you're very much an entity, and this is very much your personal quarters. Or your containment unit. Ah, oh, this is almost like some kind of 19th century SCP foundation. I am so in love with all the classic horror tropes that this map is just gleefully indulging in. It's not afraid to be cheesy, but it's doing cheesy in a way that is still legitimately scary. But now what I'm mainly interested in is, ooh, I hadn't noticed this, is finding my way up to that spire. Oh, and once again, these fireplaces, they show a path through to the other side. Where someone might have been watching without us realizing. I think this is going to be our way up. Oh, it's like it's hidden in plain sight. Like at one time, maybe there would have been a wall here, but now it's collapsed. Maybe the real entrance would have been to crawl through this fireplace. Maybe those blue flames don't harm. Oh. Those things have just enough mass on them that they resemble the skeletons that wander the landscape in survival. On oh, this must be the attic. You stay where you are. Oh, mannequin suck, mannequin suck, mannequin suck, mannequin suck. And there's more of that material up here.
Why does it seem like as soon as I climb into the attic, the lightning and the thunder increases? Oh, look at this! It's almost like he was excavating inside his own attic! And actually finding this blood-red earth beneath? We've seen similar things in other parts, in that burned hallway down below. It's almost like the house itself is an organism which can be dug into, as if the house itself is a parasite on top of some organic organism. Oh, but up here, it's so much more pronounced. Dipriclamine's head. Dipriclamine's head? What does one do with this? It doesn't seem like we can place it down. Were you there before? Okay, I did not notice old Jack swinging down from the rafters, but this is... Oh, you cannot just do that to me. Uh, not a sound in sight, but there it is. Uh, it didn't make a sound, but it still got me. Alright, now from here, there must be a way up into here. We can't climb these chains. No, I think that spire serves only as... Oh, uh, it, it seems like there's maybe a bell up there. I can look, because I do still have Optifine installed from the, from the Fog series. Yeah, there we go. There you were. You're still moving around in here. Okie dokie, you're still moving ar around. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna vacate the premises now. Goodbye. Oh, that is so creepy. It's even creepier thinking about these entities that reside here, thinking about how long it must have been empty. All the people in our village just watching that dark old house not knowing of the beings that silently glide through the halls. I've spoken in the From the Fog videos about how creepy it is to know that things are happening unobserved. It is very unnerving to me to think about all the things that have been happening silently in this house for all this time. Oh, I've just realized in this elevator shaft, uh, we can lower these things and use them as a walkway. So we can use it kind of the incorrect way. Oh, that's that's a really good idea. Well, I think that's just about everything. I'm sorry if I missed anything. I tried to be thorough, had a little bit of an extra look around, but I think that's all. And that was such a cool thing. It's such a throwback to classic haunted house tropes, but unlike other games, which they are very few who have indulged in this setting, we actually got to explore at our own pace. It actually sort of takes me back to the PS2 game, The Haunted Mansion. How we were able to wander the halls and do things as we pleased. To quote the great Eddie Murphy, Nice house, too bad we can't stay. Then again... Even though there are no mysteriously locked doors preventing us from escaping... There are other places that we've seen, and maybe, maybe it would pay to continue exploring the island on this dark and stormy night. Well, just in case we have to cross any waterways, let's grab ourselves a boat and continue on. Now, I know we saw some things off this way, although... And before, things felt so guided, it feels a little wrong to be stepping off into the forest, but our search already bears fruit. A well. A well which leads downward. Ah! Into! Into Big Face's tunnel! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Huh. So I guess it does need to keep hydrated. Oh, what a nice touch. Okay, I'm encouraged, because we're already being rewarded for exploring the grounds. And... It looks like there's something over there as well. 
Oh, these... These trees form s such a dense cover as to completely block out our view. More of those red vein-like roots! <gasps> okay, that was a little unexpected. What was... Oh, there's more than one. There's more than one. There's more than one. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, this is yours. You can have it. You can have it. It's yours. Okay. Okay, the stringy-haired blood twins can have that place. I want nothing more to do with it. Oh, there's something so weird about that existing on the periphery of all this. Almost like they demanded their own room and they got it. I see all kinds of things. I see lights coming from that mountain over there. Although maybe that's just some of that glowy stuff. Yeah, it looks like it. But there is definitively something over here. And as we leave the island, I want to go see what it is. What is this? Some kind of great machine? All these seem to correspond to something different. But I have no idea what this could be. Oh, it's like some kind of screen or display? Oh, it's... Is that Metaton? Okay, it's been almost seven years since I played, because I'm never touching my save again, but I just googled it and it is. It is Metaton. And I like this map even more now. I love Undertale so much. Oh, there are actual villagers living here. Although... Howdy, bud. Uh, you look a little stuck there. Allow me to let you out. What did I just do? Oh. Alright, well, obviously I have to head towards that thing in the distance. Also, Gold Knight Production, I'm so sorry if you didn't intend for me to go off and explore other stuff. I just couldn't not. Ooh, major lag spikes as I approach this thing. Major lag spikes. Hopefully that'll smooth out as I get closer. Alright, it has smoothed out somewhat, but not entirely. There must be a lot of redstone stuff or command stuff going on inside here. But what is it, and how do we get in? Oh, it's a movie theater! This is so cool! Wait, let's get over here and see, uh, see what that sign says. Travel Center. Oh, yeah, they did say in one of the uh, emails that there's like a hub where we can teleport from So maybe we'll give that a try after we're finished exploring here Well, let's go see what's going on at the show Short Circuit Sonic 2 Five Nights at Freddy's quite a collage of eras here uh, Splatterhouse, Skinamarink, that's a very new one. And I'm not quite sure how to read that, but it looks actually quite cool. I'm interested just from the poster alone. Oh, look! They've even done a little particle effect for the popcorn popping. That is beautiful. What's up here? Oh, we're up in the guts now, up above the rest of the place. And I bet this leads to... Ah, oh, like all kinds of controls. Okay, stage light's on, let's do that. This is so cool, yeah, this must be a very complicated redstone setup, which is probably why my game is lagging so much right now. Oh, it's not a movie theater, it's a regular stage theater! That is so awesome! Does that mean they're performing some of these movies live? Well, I guess a screen can be brought down. House lights on. Yeah, there is a lot of functionality here. House lights off. Lower curtain. Ooh, that is awesome! Raise curtain. 
That is so super cool. And I have no idea what all these other levers do. Yeah, I have a large structure on the server that I have with my cousin. And it's like probably one one millionth as complicated as this. All it is is a big building where you can turn on the lights. And even that causes my game to slow down a bit. So this can be forgiven, I think. Oh, look, there's even a little dressing area where stars and performers can get themselves ready in the mirror. Oh, there's so much attention to detail put into this. I love it. Oh, I see. You can change the color of the background. Travel Center. Ah, oh, right here in a different village. I do wonder if all these roads won't connect. Ah, uh, but you guys have the best local tourism industry. Uh, the Splatter House, that's where we came from. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, interesting. White Space, the theater, which is where we've been to. Achievement City. Oh, look, there's like a hot air balloon floating above. Oh, this is such an amazing world. You know, I thought that this was just going to be like, uh, okay, I'll just explore this real quickly and maybe it'll be cool type of thing. And it would go on like a Saturday or a Tuesday or something. This has become a full-fledged video that, e even for the Splatterhouse alone, is well worth a Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload. White space, neighbor's room. Let's try that. So crazy to know that this is all the same world. But there's a little house up here. I'm probably not going to spend too much time on all this villager stuff because there is quite a lot. Oh, Sans, pick up your si <laughs> Oh, it's a uh, it's a uh, Sans and Papyrus' house. Oh, there's a lot of Undertale references on this map. This is so cool. Quantum physics book. Oh, I wonder which of the two it belongs to. Let's be real. We know <laughs> the race car bed. Ah, oh, this is amazing. It's so weird to see it in 3D, yet now that I realize what it's supposed to be, it's all so instantly familiar. Even though it's been so long. Hang on, let's get a better view. Wow. That is nuts. Uh, and there's Jack presiding over his kingdom, standing on his balcony. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to have a look at this in this video, but... Uh, Gold Knight Production, I don't know if you want me using your real name in this video or not. I highly encourage you to make this place available to the public because this is amazing. And I think a lot of people would get a lot out of exploring it. Oh, wow. Right under an airship. You have been doing a lot more than just those few things with this world. Oh, well, let's have a look around. Oh, it's even got that tiling of a pizza place. Huge dining area, making up the bulk of it, and here we see the animatronics themselves. Which, honestly, when presented in this way, look like I'd expect their heads to turn, or even just their eyes to follow me as I move past. Parts and service. And this is where we get to see what's really underneath. Here's where Foxy lives, oh, always peeking out from behind those curtains. I love how you've achieved that effect by having these things, you know, the way they billow, it kind of obscures it. And of course, in the back, we have the security booth. Yeah, I I'm going to play Five Nights at Freddy's, at least the first one on this channel one of these days. I actually voted for it back on Steam Greenlight way back when that was a thing. But I never really, like, got into it because I thought, like, you know, I watched one Let's Play, played the demo once, and I was like, there is no way I would enjoy the gameplay. But the concept was super cool. Oh, wow, look at that sign. I don't know how you did that. But we have a whole guest map. Um, this is kind of eerie. Look, the merry-go-round actually goes around in a circle. But their legs are moving. Those are actual horses. Can we ride this? We can. We can ride the merry-go-round. I'm a kid again. 
Oh, look at us go. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. I have no idea how you're doing stuff like this, but I'm glad you're doing it. But I really... I, I You have to release this in some official capacity. Because this is amazing. Look, we've got roller coasters. You're just playing Roller Coaster Tycoon over here. Can we ride the Dumbo Pigs? We can ride the Dumbo Pigs. But one thing that I've always loved about Gary's Mod is that it's a way of turning the Source Engine into essentially any game you want. And I think that's what you've achieved with this. Because in a very short time span, I have gotten through a very wide variety of experiences. And because of the theme of the channel, I'm kind of glossing over everything that isn't the haunted house. But that's not to say that everything else isn't equally as impressive, because this is an amazing world. Look, that looks like an amusement park version of a haunted house. What do you say we give it a try? I don't know what that did. That attendant, Barry, Barry the attendant, is quite spooky. I'll look at him in his pumpkin helmet, although the way he stands still almost makes it seem as though he's trapped. Let's push ourselves forward and do it. Ooh. Ooh. It's all going by a little fast. I did just see that jump scare pop up, though. Down into the guts of the place and zombies. We have an emergency exit. What's through there? And we're going back again. Oh, this is so cool. Wait, 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 let's get out of the ride. Let's get out. Hop off. That's every Disneylander's dream. And it leads us out the back. We never did get that interview. But you know what? I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied to be leaving with my life. In fact, we never even encountered Dr. West, although... Maybe we did. We were forewarned in the beginning that we may not recognize him. Let's sail back across to home. Whatever home may be. And we'll have to lay our head down on our pillow. Now with the thoughts in our head racing of what did we actually encounter over there. And if this is our house... I think I can live with that. Oh, look at the size of this place. So that was, for the most part, the Splatterhouse portion of Gold Knight Productions' creative map. And man, I knew from the screenshots that I was in for something cool, but I did not expect to be impressed with just the sheer level of ingenuity and creativity in doing all this within Minecraft. It's not just eye candy architecture that we can wander around and explore in, although it certainly does have plenty of that. <laughs> it's the kind of thing where it combines that with atmospherics, with story, with everything that goes into it, the scripting, the different ideas that you come to as you make your way through this place, even without explicitly stating them. It's also the kind of thing that I just really, really like as an underappreciated setting. The creepy old mansion that we've been mysteriously invited to. And we wander its halls, just bumping into one horror after another. Knowing that Dr. West isn't going to be giving me that interview, I think I'll just finally sit down in front of the fire, knowing that someone could be watching me from the other side... And maybe I'll pick up one of these books and start reading. If the end is going to come, having been drawn back here, well, it might as well happen while I'm asleep on the couch in front of a warm fire. But until that happens, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always... I will see you in the next one.